One of you had asked me if I could speak about how I remain so consistent with my routines. So first of all, thank you for your question. I do understand that uh, adherence to routines is something that doesn't come naturally to some people or to many people. I'm only me, of course, so I can only speak on my experience, but I can tell you that, and is probably evident, it, it perhaps is evident that I am someone for whom uh, discipline and compliance to routines comes rather naturally to me. So that's probably a factor of my personality. In fact, when I was a small child, I had a number of regimens that I created uh, and that I would adhere to um, with 100% compliance. So this, of course, can be both positive and negative. I will say that it, it can be like with anything in life, I suppose. Um, there can be negative aspects to this, of course, um, but I will just share some tips. I wrote down some tips. Maybe these tips will uh, resonate with, with you who asked the question, and also it may be helpful to other viewers as well. I certainly hope so. My first tip would be to establish meaning, identify the meaning, um, ask yourself, why do you want to do such and such thing? Why do you want to introduce this habit or adopt this particular uh, lifestyle routine, whatever it may be? You need to first understand yourself. Uh, this is where journaling comes in handy. Um, it, it, cause, because a lot of people uh, don't really know what they want, what they prioritize, what they value deep within themselves. There's so much noise in the culture, in the climate. So we just have all these uh, factors coming into our conscious consciousness that we need to really identify what we value. So that would be my first tip is to identify your why. Write it down if you have to. Identify the meaning behind what you are trying to do. So in other words, you have to establish a baseline foundation. You have to build a strong, it's like building anything else, building a habit, um, which that's what a routine is. It's a se sequence of habits and it, it comes together as a routine. Um, but these are just a series of particular specific actions that are made in a deliberate fashion on a consistent basis. That's what a routine is. So you want to establish a baseline foundation of meaning for you motivation will come and go. There will be days, absolutely, there will be many days uh, that you simply don't feel like doing such and such thing. And that's what discipline is. That's my meaning for discipline anyway. That's how I've defined it for myself. It's repeatedly doing the actions that are meaningful to me, even when and perhaps especially when I don't feel like doing them, I do them anyway because I've attached that meaning. They're meaningful to me. So that uh, sort of overrides my motivation. Mood follows action. So after you've done the thing, <laughs> oftentimes, most times, um, you will feel better for having done it, even if you didn't feel like doing it in the first place. So I'll just use yoga as an example for me. You all know, maybe you don't know, but I've been practicing yoga since I was about 18 years old. So it's about 22 years at this point that I've been practicing yoga each and every day. And yes, I do, I do practice it every single day. And the reason I'm able to do that with 100% adherence is because I've attached meaning to it for me. It, it means something to me. I have all these benefits of my physical well-being, my mental, the, the mental space it creates for me, my flexibility, my physical range of motion, my stability, my strength. It keeps me in shape. It, it allows me to focus. It gives me confidence. It, it improves my posture. I can go on and on and on. So as you can see, for me, yoga practice has so many benefits that there's very little standing in my way that would prevent me from doing it. And to that end, my practical um, habit that I've been doing for many years is that before I go to bed at night, I will roll out my yoga mat and place it in the 
practice area of my living room and I will go to bed and I'll leave it there. Sort of like putting your clothes out for the next day. I've done this for many years. I roll out my yoga mat and I have it there waiting for me so that when I wake up, when I come into my living space, it's literally the first thing I see. I cannot, I guess what I'm trying to say is the next tip, which is removing obstacles that might stand in your way of doing the proposed action. This this rolling out of my yoga mat every night before I go to bed, in that way, I'm I'm cultivating the routine for my morning the night before by doing this action. So it can be applied to anything, but again, I'm using yoga as an example because I'm talking about myself and my yoga practice. Um, I've made it so that there are far less barriers, far less friction standing in the way of me practicing yoga versus me not practicing yoga. So I'm not going to skip it um, because the mat is there. It's a non-negotiable for me. So uh, it's, it's just something that I do. In retrospect, I'm looking back and thinking about my younger self and making that decision. Being a yogi was who I wanted to become. There's no secret actually. The way to becoming a yogi, for instance, is to simply perform the action of practicing yoga every day and just keep doing it. And then 22 years later, you've become a yogi. Kind of create the environment and create the space that will foster you performing that habit. So the last thing that I wanted to emphasize that I think is really important is to think long term. I think so many of us, and I'm guilty of this as well with certain things, we want that quick fix. We want that overnight success and the overnight results. And also we often see someone who is successful and we desire the outcome. We want the outcome. But then when that person shares all that is involved in having uh, reached that point in their lives where they are shiny and polished. Once they share all the gory details, uh, a lot of people check out mentally and they just, they're not in it to win it. <laughs> so they want that quick overnight instant gratification. They want the pill to swallow. They want the skin cream to work overnight to get you perfect skin overnight. It doesn't work that way. It, it happens over a long period of time with consistent practice. You have to have the routine. So that's a good example, skincare. Um, this is my tip of focusing on long-term. This can be applied to any routine that you're trying to plug into your life. You cannot think about what you are going to satisfy in the short term. In many ways, you will have to sacrifice certain things, certainly energy, time, effort, all of those things. You will have to make certain sacrifices in the short term to serve the long-term uh, outcome that you desire. And you have to understand and be willing to commit to the routine in service of the outcome. So discipline is in service of the outcome. You can write that down and just repeat it to yourself. You have to think long-term. When I started looking after my skin, to, to go back to the example, when I was 11 or 12 years old, um, thanks to my mother, <laughs> I had established a very basic cleansing routine and moisturizing routine of just washing my face, putting lotion on my face, and, but doing that in a routine way, every morning and every night, washing and moisturizing, washing and moisturizing. And it just became a habit for me. So much so that when I reached my 20s, my early 20s, transitioning to that so-called anti-aging skincare regimen that I plugged in at 20, 21, when I introduced retinoids, tretinoin, that transition was very smooth for me because I had already made a baseline solid foundation of just taking care of my skin, which I realized that now looking back, I realized that it's not, I thought everybody did this. <laughs> I thought everyone washed and moisturized their face and had a skincare routine, basic skincare routine. It turns out that it's that not everyone does, but I did. And so that transition was very smooth for me because I had a solid foundation that I had built and it, it, it didn't take much for me to just add that one ingredient, tretinoin, and then I have maintained that for the past 20 plus years at this point. I would say the last tip is keep it simple. I think we 
whether it's skincare or any other uh, wellness habit or longevity habit, uh, dietary habit, anything that we're trying to do for self-improvement, which we're all trying to do, you know, presumably we're trying to get better and be a better version of ourselves. We're all trying to improve in some fashion. So I think it can be overwhelming to um, try and do too much at once. So my advice would be to prioritize, write it down, write down what's important. This goes back to the journaling thing. Write down what is important, what is paramount to you? What do you value? What do you place high value on? And figure it out, really be honest, be brutally honest and let that be your priority and just focus on that. Focus on serving that. Don't focus on the outcome as such. Focus on the action, the actionable steps to deliver the outcome. But remember that it's going to happen much later. You have to commit and you have to adhere because routines mean nothing, obviously, if you don't adhere to them. <laughs> routines are meaningless without adherence. Less is more, whether it's skincare or anything. I'm using these examples just to make it to articulate my point, but this can be applied to anything you're trying to do. The more we pile on top and create these 12 step routines of uh, this, that, and the other that require lots of costs and variables, it's just, it gets very complicated. So we might be able to do it on one day or for a week say, but it's not very likely that the average person, it's not very likely that we're going to comply to that routine on a consistent basis that, that is going to produce any meaningful results in the long term. I'm trying, <laughs> uh, brevity is not my strong suit. So I'm really trying to stay focused when I um, create these videos so as to hopefully get my point across in a more concise way. Although I, um, I sense that I've not quite done that in this video because I uh, stutter, which I have to periodically cut out of the video so it's not terribly distracting. But anyway, uh, I've managed. <laughs> it's uh, Hopefully it's helpful. Uh, let me know down below. Let me know if this was helpful. And also you can let me and the other viewers know what tips, if any, you have uh, for creating and adhering to routines in your own life. That would be very helpful to everyone and we can all learn from each other. So I wanna thank you as always for watching and good luck, um, good health. I wish you the best of success and thanks for being here.